trying to survive. It's uh, 7.30 in the morning. Just had the CBC interview. And it was really cold even for Edmonton at this time of year. It's supposed to get warmer tomorrow. Thank God. Besides being insane, um, I, <laughs> five years ago I uh, was rushed to the hospital with liver failure and uh, I was told at that point that I only had two days left to live and you know like most people on the uh, waiting list we're, we pretty well planned our funerals so uh, the next day an organ became available and I was the individual that made that uh, decision and the family that carried through that decision I wanted to walk to acknowledge what they did you know and, and to hopefully inspire uh, many other Canadians to do the same. That's great. Thanks. And it's uh, G E O R G E. That's correct. Plate, as I, I as I've been calling it, and he has today. So 
We were presently supposed to be in Coaldale, but we made the arrangements in Coaldale to have someone else uh, carry the, or uh, be present for me there. And uh, we needed to attend this because it's, it's, it's a, a big highlight of the whole campaign. Is this is for the moment thing that he's here when you're sorting in the neighborhood? Yes, it is. Yeah. I, and, and uh, I, I, you know, as Mr. Rock has, has mentioned, uh, he's been following my campaign and, uh, you know, he, he, he was hearing what I was saying and, uh, you know, along with other groups and organizations and uh, he's stepping up to the plate, you know, he's, and, and I look at his agenda and his plans, it's right on the money. You know, it's exactly the things that we need to, to be addressing and, and taking care of and, uh, you know, this is a very, a very, very happy day for Canadians. Oh, I need it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, say hi to the camera. Hi. Hey, there we go. These are all transplant recipients or waiting for transplants. Sitting in the water. Fella here has had a heart transplant. And he says, hey, there you go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, number two, we have an announcement that is good for all Canadians and further established Alan Rock. <laughs> to Minister Rock's left, one of Edmonton's own members of Parliament and Minister of Justice, the Honourable Anne McClellan. And of course, to the left of Minister Anne McClellan sits our own provincial minister of health. As I introduce a group of uh, men and women who are members of the board of the Capital Health Authority, the, they won recently, this group of ladies and gentlemen, the National Conference Award in Governance for all sectors for all of Canada. Please hold your applause and I'll ask him to stand. Peter Bidlock, Leonard Blumenthal, Linda Mabbitt, they're all in the back. They're all standing. Thank you, Linda, there you are. Al Mondor, I know, right over there. Margaret Plain, in the back as well, and Les Young. Ladies and gentlemen, your Capital Health Board of Directors. And the person who does all the real work, Sheila Weatherall, the CEO, and President of Capital Health. I guess his pager went off. Also, Dr. Jonathan Lakey, Medical Director of Capital Health, Comprehensive Tissue Center, Dr. Lakey. Nice to have you here. Why are we here? You don't probably say, there is no better location in Canada, is there, than to make this announcement. Here at Capital Health, we rank among the nation's leaders for all types of organ donations and transplants. For example, last year, 41 people received a new heart in this hospital. How many people received a new liver? 65. In fact, in the last few years, we have held the record in Canada for the most number of heart transplants of any other health system in the country. As a matter of fact, if you combine all the heart transplants delivered in all the other hospitals in Canada, we still deliver more than all they combined or all those programs combined. These numbers are remarkable and we have our human organ procurement and exchange